Okay, this is going to be another good fight that I definitely want to watch. Uh, Tyron Woodley versus Thompson. I'm going to be same thing. I'm going to basically talk about who I think is going to win, what each fire needs to do. Like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe a lot of these fights are basically stand-up fighters. That's what they're really picking. And I can see why, because the stand-up fighters are usually the ones that usually get the most attention, even not saying that they're only just stand-up fighters. Some of them are very good in jiu-jitsu, of course. But Tyron Woodley and um, Thompson, they're known for their specialties in stand-up fighters. Like, uh, Thompson is a special... His he's a special his specialty is he's a he's he's been a kick he's been doing kickboxing for a while, so like kickboxing is really a specialty kicking and fighting, while uh Woodley, I'm not gonna say he's a brawler because he's very skilled. People don't realize that Woodley is actually very skilled, very ta- talented. Like he actually knows he has good footwork. It's just that he has good um good power. He has good punching power. He's heavy handed, um. Who I think is going to win, I'll probably say this time, I'll probably say at the end. But Woodley, what Woodley needs to do is, Woodley's obviously bigger than this guy, stronger, more power, more physicality, uh, more skills, uh, better footwork. He's be a lot a lot of categories, he's better than, the only thing is I'm not sure about Woodley's conditioning, like cardio-wise. I don't know if he can, if he has better conditioning than Thompson. What Woodley needs to do is, Thompson, no, no offense, he's no different than anybody that Woodley has faced. Woodley has faced a lot tougher opponents than Thompson. Tom, Woodley, all he has to do is just be yourself, man. I think you're gonna. I think it's gonna be early knockout for him. If you really think, I think Woodley can knock this guy on the first round. You know, just fight how you normally would. It's gonna be stand the fight. Um, just keep your defense up, but do your normal one two punch, your knockout, and it's gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, try not to stay on the ground. Try not, don't, try not allow, do not allow the guy to kick you all over because this guy, Thompson, has pretty good legs. He's very talented at kicking. He's a good kickboxer. Uh, keep your distance, but at the same time, don't be too distant away because if you're too distant away, you're going to allow him to basically kick you. And once he's, he has his legs on you, man, it's a wrap. So, Willie, what you need to do is just be physical, allow him, push him to the ropes. Don't give him too much time to go to the next round and get his energy up. Just keep on brawling. What Thompson needs to do is Thompson needs to let him to get in his game, meaning uh, like let him fight his game. Don't stay stay too close to Willie. If you stay too close to Willie Thompson, you will get knocked out. What you need to do is just keep a good distance, keep your reach. You have longer arms. You know, you may not be as skilled as him, but you can use your reach and your 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 God given height. And figure for your advantage. Uh, that's what you need to do, man. Just do your kickboxing pedigree. Wear down his legs. You know, keep on kicking him in the thighs. Get him tired. So by the time it's the second or third round, he'll be wearied. And then you can just go for a knockout. But I don't think you can beat Tyron Woodley. Overall, I think Tyron Woodley is going to win this fight. I think this is an easy win for Tyron Woodley. I don't think this is enough competition for him. I think he's going to knock this guy out in the first round. Easy piece of cake. On to the next one. Let's go. God bless, guys. Uh, Stay blessed. May Jesus Christ uh, take care of you guys. And always keep reverse. Peace.